Okay, well, we got the loneliest highway in America. It's Highway 50. And then I got a... I couldn't get cell reception, and it gave me another route. And I thought, oh, great. And this took me right to I-70 and I-15. And it was different than this route, which I could not get on my um, GPS or my phone. But what I got, and that's the road I could have been on. What I got is this route that doesn't even show up on that other route. And it was gravel for a hundred miles. And you'll notice there are no telephone poles, no houses. Hard, I mean, you will see some trees when we get up in the mountain. That's kind of heading up in the mountains um, towards Crystal Peak. That's that white peak in the foreground there. We'll see it soon. But, and I think those pictures were out of order. I think the, the shrubs and stuff were up on around the peak. It's uh, also the Wawa Wilderness Area. And, yeah, it's pretty wilderness. You can see there's only one set of tracks there besides mine. And since the last rain, which probably maybe rains there once a year if they're lucky so yeah not too many tracks i did not see any cars i did not see any people there no animals there was a few birds that jumped up every now and then but uh i i didn't even see a snake it's just a, a barren landscape for 100 miles and uh i took lots of pictures of it I did uh, let my son know that uh, I was heading west to east, and it's probably the only gravel road that went west to east, and to, uh, they didn't hear from me for a few days, and they might send somebody out. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty desolate, and I was listening to my... Sweet Baby Jesus music, Gospel Sunday, Sunday. Sunday. See that this is a dry land. Nothing much there. And, uh, yeah, it just me in the car and hoping nothing went wrong. The car did great. It was really comfortable. Air conditioner did well. It was. Uh, over 90 degrees and you can see there weren't any clouds of course I don't know what I'd done if it had been raining I think I may have gotten stuck in a few places because uh, you know the gravel did fine until it got up in the mountain area you can see some power lines there that came from a wind farm uh, to my right and that was about it until I got to the interstate. I did see a couple of antelope running off. And they, uh, there they go right there. And I finally made it. I had Michelin looking tires, the white tires. And that white still hasn't come off. There was also a, a Cove Fort, uh, C-O-V-E. And it must have been an old fort back when. Anyway, uh, I finally made it to the interstate and on to Green River. So, there you go.